I could drive into a gun turret if he wanted. Let's it all go to his head, of course. Can't open his mouth except to brag about black ops and our wins. That's all I've heard since you've joined my crew. Noted. Keep my comments to the weather from now on. Took a while to track Tadido down, but he's stationed on Hoth. Finally got a clear comm signal today. You're welcome to listen in. After a few months defrosting blasters, Tanito's probably in rare form. And then he had me forcibly removed from the armory over a few flash grenades. Weapons master indeed. And after you calibrated all the assault rifles for him too. Shame about those cadets though. Yes, that was unfortunate. But how was I to know those rifles were for training? They really should use slaves. Anyhow, that's how I ended up on Hoth. Scraping ice from blaster barrels and reheating ammunition. Pathetic. A man of your talents should be on Drom and Cass. Oh, if only. The Citadel would be a welcome sight after all this snow and ice. Maybe you should start tinkering again. Get that weapon you built for the Bastion out of storage. You know very well that weapon's finished. It's waiting for the assault that will never happen. The Lieutenant volunteered your entire team. We've got clearance from General Rackton. The Bastion's ours for the taking. Then it's fallen into place. The Bastion. After all these years. I'll get back to base and start making arrangements. When I have the weapon, I'll contact you. Tenido doesn't like to waste time. He'll have that weapon quick as of Minox wings. Just in time, too. Let the man idle any longer, and he might do some real damage. I look forward to seeing Tenido unleashed. Should be a show. Like to see the size of his head after this one. Tenido's weapons will help, but we'll need more than firepower for this one. Assault this big takes reinforcements, too. Get back to you about those. Plans for the Bastion Assault are coming along. Tenido's got the weapons ready, but having the right ordnance is just the start. Gotta worry about numbers, too. That's Lawrence's job. Captain Lawrence now. Connections got to a good post on Balmora. Been the rules a lot in Black Ops. Lawrence could always smooth things out. Pretty face, way with words. People like her. High praise, coming from a man like you. Just stating the facts. Others might say more. Lawrence a favorite of Moff Galvin. Close to retirement now, but he could give us an army if he had the mind. Ask Lauren about her chances. Seemed to think she could convince the old man. With the right favors. How did Lawrence become Moff Galvin's favorite? Lawrence spent an evening with Moff Galvin as a lieutenant. By morning, she was a captain. Now it's got her putting on airs. Actually ordered me to calm her. Better get to it, eh? There has to be another way. Moff Galvin has resources, but what he's asking is impossible. The favors I would have to give him now, it would be above and beyond the call of duty. Never stopped you before, Captain. The old man's depraved, and the years have not been kind to him. Surely Moff Galvin wasn't your first promotion? No, the others were earned, like any good Imperial officer. You were Black Ops once, before that commission went to your head. Remember? We do what's necessary to get the job done. Some of us more than others. I'll come off Galvin. Reinforcements will be ready when the time comes. Wouldn't want to be Lawrence right now. You should have spared her from these... favors. It's for the Bastion. No time to lose your nerve. Security's our last problem. The Bastion will have plenty of systems. Black Ops had a man for that too. Let you know when I find him. My lord, I am applying to receive the trials for the rank of captain, second grade. I formally submit a request for your recommendation. My time is valuable. Write up whatever you want and I'll sign it. 
That wouldn't be ethical, my lord. I'll make do without a recommendation. My lord, I've just been informed that I have passed the trials for captain. Second grade. I'm happy for you, Quinn. Thank you, my lord. I don't seek acknowledgement. It requires your approval to go into effect. It's a wonder the military gets anything done in a timely fashion. Speed it through, Captain. Very good, my lord. My lord, I've been dealing with a situation that's getting out of hand. Moff Broisk contacted the ship and was incensed to find me at the helm. He's been sending recorded messages that are progressively more nonsensical. He's always been scattered and aggressive, but now he seems completely unhinged. The next time he comes calling, I will speak with the man. I would appreciate that, my lord. Tens of thousands of soldiers and some of our most critical campaigns are at the mercy of his commands. Nice to see your dander up. I wonder where it will take you. I just hope the man comes to his senses. My lord, Moff Broisk's hollow transmissions have increased. They are beginning to disrupt operations. He's nearly incoherent. I can only assume some sort of dementia has set in. I have him on hollow right now. I believe it's going to take your personal touch to assuage the situation. Patch him through. Here he is, my lord. Flow the coop! Your new cage will be smaller! And tighter, coffin size, urn size, in a locket or wear around my neck. He's unlikely to stop, my lord. He didn't even know he was on hold. Draken will prove my point. My glory is mine. Mine. You're nobody. Moff Broisk, I'll have a word with you. What? Who transferred me? I see a Sith. Rodznik, I'll station you on Balmora too. That insubordinate fool back. No! Rojnik is his communications officer. This is how it's been. Rojnik, am I through? I'm through? Yes or no? I don't see. Is this broken? All I see is a Sith. You see a Sith because you have called my ship. Your ship? I was talking to. Wait. You're the one who dared to liberate the Admiral. Have you lost your mind? He calls me Admiral Malcontent. He seems to think that's my actual rank and name. Don't you know he's the one who lost the Battle of Talley? Broisk's earliest command. Before I was born. It was his blunder that allowed the escaped Jedi targets to flee Taris before the bombardment. Ancient history. Broisk wasn't even born. He sabotaged the Glory Space Station for crying out loud. I have no idea what that is. I hear him. I'm talking. His insubordination is lethal, paralyzing. It threatens the Empire, and you do nothing. Admiral Malcontent, I strip you of your rank and relegate you to the cleaning crew. Yes, my lord. A good start, Sith, but his crimes must be punished by death. I order you to deliver him to me for execution immediately. Now! Are you listening? I'll get right on that. Never too soon. I'll await your arrival. Exclusively. Broisk out. Rodznik, how do I end this thing? With Broisk in command, the Empire is in critical danger. I must implore High Command to do something about him. If there's anything I can do to help, I will. A prepared statement would be beneficial. Thank you. Greetings, Master. You're looking fit and deadly, as always. Captain, do you have news? How have your efforts with Imperial High Command gone? Not well, my lord. I've gone as high up the chain as I can. 
No one will confront Moff Broisk. He's too powerful and entrenched. He will serve until he's killed or willingly steps down. And he will never willingly step down. It seems clear. I must deal with Broisk myself. Once and for all. This is no different than any other problem. A Sith doesn't care if he's a Moff. Why not kill a Moff? This is your calling, Quinn. Get to it. I am ready, my lord. My lord, I've returned. I found Moff Broisk on a pleasure barge. He was on R and R while countless battles are raging. Despicable. I abducted him and brought him here to present to you. Stop! Traitor! You, Sith! I commandeer your ship! Your crew! I commandeer you! Mine! Now! Close that trap of yours, Broisk. You are my men now! I command you all! Kill! Kill yourselves! I have spoken! My lord, I've resisted all along, but this is personal. Permission to execute the moth. By all means, the kill should be yours. As you command. You cannot kill me! You are nothing! I am a moth! Not anymore. No! Scabs! All scabs! The body has been disposed of, my lord. No more of Moth Broisk's men will have to endure his whims and incompetence. Thank you for seeing this through. You earned it. The Empire is better off now. I'm fielding reports from across Imperial forces. Among the men, there's universal relief that Moff Broisk is no more. The rest of the Empire was passive. It sickens me. I was guilty of that for a long time. I feel no conflict over my actions. Broisk was a blight on the Empire. You were guiding me to a new paradigm, my lord. One a bit more... improvisational. I believe it will only make me a better officer. You can bank on that, Quinn. I will not disappoint you, my lord. My lord, I have taken it upon myself to look into something of importance. Is there another moth out there you want to assassinate? You have a great sense of humor, my lord. If I wasn't on duty, I'd allow myself a good laugh. New generation hyperdrive support tech is being developed. The Empire is negotiating for exclusive purchasing rights. But it could take months to be available. I've been saving my commission and was able to pull strings to acquire the latest alluvial dampers. For your ship. That's very generous, Quinn. I did an exhaustive cost analysis, and this is by far the most sensible use of my pay. These dampers are so efficient. They reduce the system's refractory period by 32.9%. Once I have them installed, we'll be able to make successive light speed jumps with one third less waiting time. I am incredibly impressed. They are a thing of great precision. I'll get right to work. My lord, the new alluvial dampers have been installed and the hyperdrive tested to my satisfaction. This ship is now the most hyperspeed ready vessel in the galaxy. The credit is yours, Quinn. This is just the beginning, my lord. I will tirelessly work toward improving this ship and the effectiveness of everyone in it, awaiting your next order. My lord, after all we've been through, the good and the bad, I am dedicated 100% to you and your legacy. It goes without saying that I will impart whatever skills and knowledge I can on your future disciples. It is a certainty. You're too kind. Serving you and ensuring your legacy is a privilege. I'll take no more of your time.
Sir, I'm sorry.